Welcome to Shelly's Cuisine. Twisters, today we're gonna make rum and raisin bread pudding. Yes, it's pretty easy to put together. I think the hardest thing is getting all the ingredients. So we're gonna start off with eight cups of stale bread. You have to cut it up. You can cut it up smaller than this and it's gotta be stale, that's important. Okay, so this is hard dough bread. You could use different kinds of bread but for the bread pudding, hard dough bread would be nice. Okay, so I'm going to use, that's eight cups. I'm gonna use one cup of raisins. It's rum and raisin bread pudding. I don't like dark raisins, so I'm using white. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of maraschino cherries. If you don't have this, don't worry. That's about quarter cup. Of course, I'm gonna twist it. Quarter cup of shredded coconut. Do I make anything without shredded coconut? No. Okay, and so I am just going to mix this together. You know, I just want, you know, not to have the cherries in one space. Okay, then I'm going to use my dish. I'm using this dish. You can also use a nine and a half by 12 dish. Lightly grease it. And I want to get my bread in and I kind of want my cherries to be mixed up. Not all to be at the bottom, I guess. Okay. So I have pieces of shredded coconut. And I'm making a mess. But sometimes we can't all be perfect. So I'm getting my bread in the pan and so I have my coconut, my cherries, my raisins, yep, and I just want to make sure the bread is kind of in the corners. So now I have my bread. Okay, time to make the custard. Okay, so we're going to start off with two cups of evaporated milk, okay? So that's two cups of evaporated milk, two cups of regular milk, okay? And four tablespoons of melted butter. Four eggs, don't forget to take the eye out the egg. Okay, so I know I have a spatula here somewhere. Four eggs and brown sugar, one cup of brown sugar. Okay, one tablespoon, I'm sorry, teaspoon of salt. Okay, all right, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I love almond extract. Half a teaspoon. Vietnamese cinnamon. One teaspoon of cinnamon. It's important to have cinnamon in bread pudding. Nutmeg. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Now, two tablespoons of white rum. I'm using the Jamaica white rum. So that's two tablespoons of the white rum. Put a little tip more because it's rum and raisin. And you can put a little bit of red wine using the Jamaica Red Label wine. Whoop. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. Just use a red wine. That's not too dry. Okay, so I think that's it. I'm gonna mix. You want to make sure that the egg is, is properly incorporated in this mixture. So it's going to take a minute to get it mixed. I realized I didn't have the strength to mix this thing by my hand, so I got the hand mixer. I really need it mixed 
properly. And the hand, mix, hand mixer wasn't working for me. Now it's properly incorporated. Okay, now it's like a custard. Everything comes together. I'm not seeing anything loose. And what we're going to do, we're going to pour the mixture over the bread pudding. I hope it doesn't make a mess. You know what? I need a measurement. I'm afraid it's going to make a mess. So let's be smart about that. Ooh, you see all that nutmeg and cinnamon? Okay. So we're going to pour this because we need to incorporate all the bread. Okay, I'm going to stop here for a minute. And I'm going to push this down. So, this bread is going to take up most of this mixture, so I don't want to pour all of it. And we're going to let this sit for 20 minutes so we could get soaked up. And I'm going to garnish with some green cherries and I have some red. No particular order. Just so that it will be nice on the top. So when we leave this sitting for 20 minutes, it's going to soak up the, 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 the mixture. And then we're going to bake it. Okay. Yeah, that looks nice. I'm going to push it down. And I still need to put a little bit more on the top because you need to make sure the top pieces are wet, fully wet, so that they do not come out dry. Okay. All right, I'm going to let that sit, soak for 20 minutes, then I'm going to put it in the oven and I'm going to bake it for 50 to 55 minutes at 350 degrees. My bread pudding is ready and because I use this dish to bake it, my bread pudding has risen above the dish. But that's okay because when I slice it, I'll get a very nice slice. This will probably only give maybe six servings. And you can use a nine by 13 dish to get it lower and flatter if you want. So I'm gonna glaze with a little bit of maple syrup and I'm gonna glaze it while it's hot. Okay, so I just wanna glaze it, glaze the top. It smells so good. And we don't want to go too heavy with the glaze. And you could use aguave. You don't have to use maple syrup. Yeah, I just want, you know, some people might throw the wine over this. I don't know about that. I'm just trying to make sure my top will be nice and moist with my glaze. Yeah, and you can or you cannot, you could add a little bit of brown sugar, raw brown sugar. So that's the bigger brown sugar to the top. And now I have to let it cool before I cut it. So the picture will be at the end. Thank you for visiting Shelly's Cuisine and making rum and raisin bread pudding with us today. Tune in next week to find out what we will twist next.
Thank you.